Hello everybody, Jim here. Welcome back for another impromptu video today coming to you with a game review uh, courtesy of Red Art Games who sent me a review code. Thank you very much for a game called Nuclear Blaze. And Nuclear Blaze, what is this, you might ask, because I hadn't heard of it either, but apparently it was made available on Steam uh, over a year ago and uh, brought to us by the same developer as Dead Cells. So a little bit of a pedigree behind it, and it was just recently picked up by Red Art Games for publishing on consoles. So I played the digital version on the Switch, uh, but I believe it's also available on the PS4, and then there will be uh, physical versions available as well. Um, but what is Nuclear Blaze? Uh, in a nutshell, it's a game where you play as a firefighter going around a big nuclear facility putting out fires. Uh, that's the very simple explanation. Um, but it's more of kind of a little bit of a puzzle platformer, I guess you would say. Uh, because each area you go into has a whole bunch of different fire in it. And you have to put the fire out, obviously, but it spreads as well. So there's a bit of a ticking clock. If you can't put the fire out in time, you have to circle back and start over again. So the, the real challenge is getting all the fires put out in an area and then unlocking a door and going on to the next area. And sometimes you need to hit switches, uh, you need to find keys, um, you need to turn on sprinklers and other various things in order to uh, facilitate uh, getting your way uh, to the next area. So it's pretty fun, your little firefighter guy has a number of abilities at his disposal, obviously. Uh, he has his basic sort of like water gun. He has sort of a, I guess you could say like a backpack full of water, and you run around shooting everything with a water gun because it probably would have been uh, too difficult uh, to have you constantly running around with a water hose. Um, but you start out just being able to shoot water uh, straight ahead of you with your water gun, but as you progress through the game, you get other abilities like uh, a water shield, which is very nice, and being able to fire uh, diagonal, diagonally upward in both directions, firing from ladders, which is also very useful. Uh, so that's all very cool. Uh, eventually, uh, some enemies are also introduced into the game, which is kind of cool, spices things up a little bit, but for the most part, that's what it is. You go into an area, there's fire, there's uh, all kinds of different ladders to climb and doors to go through and whatever else. And the whole purpose is to just put out the fires, move on to the next area. And again, like I said, the fire spreads around, so you have to be uh, kind of quick. But uh, there are a lot of adjustable options in this game, so you can actually control how quickly the fire spreads, or you can turn off the spread entirely uh, if you want to give yourself an easier time. And you can make your water gun more powerful as well. And there's kind of a little gauge that goes from 0% to 100%. It tells you what difficulty you're at. And there's also a lot of secret areas to find, and most importantly, I think the most important job uh, that firefighters do really is finding um, missing cats and rescuing cats. You can rescue cats in this game, uh, so that makes it pretty cool. Um, but really the challenge for me to review a game like this, because it's, it's really fun, and it's, you know, it's an indie retro inspired game, so it looks pretty good. Uh, the sound design is pretty good too, but um, it's a $15 game if you pick up the digital copy. So the real challenge for me is um, can I recommend it to people for $15? And I'll say if the only gameplay mode included was the original mode, um, I would not recommend uh, paying $15 for the game. I would recommend more like $5 for it because the original mode, while it is fun, uh, it's also really short. I think I finished it in about an hour and a half. And it wasn't too terribly difficult. There are some tricky spots, but once you figure out uh, sort of the patterns, it's not very difficult uh, to progress through the game. So that original mode alone is not worth 15 bucks. But when you beat the original mode, you unlock Hold My Beer mode, which is much, much better. Um, it's a much bigger game. There are more areas to explore that are not included in the original mode. It's more difficult, so right out of the gate, fire spreads faster and the areas are bigger and uh, more complicated. There are more switches you need to hit. You get uh, special abilities that are not available in the original mode uh, that make the gameplay a little more fun and a little more, uh, a little deeper, I guess you could say. Um, so all in all, I think, I really think Hold My Beer mode is, like, that is the game. Like, that, for me, was the real 
uh, pleasure of playing this game. Playing the original mode. The original mode is almost more like a training mode, kind of, to prepare you uh, for Hold My Beer. But that was much, much better. Um, so with that included, I would say that yes, this is worth 15 bucks because between the original mode and Hold My, My Beer mode, I would say I probably got, it took me like five, six hours to complete uh, everything because Hold My Beer, um, there's definitely some challenging spots in it. While you do still have uh, the option to um, sort of like toy around with uh, the difficulty, make things a little easier on you, I tried not to do that as much as possible. I wanted to experience the game uh, the way the developer intended. Um, so I played Hold My Beer mode pretty much like straight 100% difficulty. And yeah, it was pretty damn tough, but it was also a lot of fun. And again, I would say a lot more meat on those bones than the original mode. So the original mode and Hold My Beer together, that was really cool. And there's even, I think it was called a kids mode, which when you start playing it, there's a, a note from the developer uh, saying that he just made it as sort of uh, something to entertain his son um, who is uh, I think like it said like three or four years old so in kids mode you can't die and the, the water finds the fire automatically and just the whole point of the game is to just run through the levels find all of the cats and then bring them to the exit and rescue all the cats uh, so it's really cute again there's no challenge to it at all um, but it's something I guess if you have a small child it's something you could give them to play uh, that they'll be able to like finish it, you know, beat it easily and maybe feel like a little sense of accomplishment. Perfect for a four-year-old, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, with the original mode and the Hold My Beer mode, I would say that yes, uh, Nuclear Blaze is worth the uh, $15 asking price because it's, um, uh, like I said, a little meatier than just the original mode. Um, I never played this game on Steam, so I don't know if like Hold My Beer is available on Steam or not. Um, and I don't know how much it costs on Steam either, so I can't really speak to that, but just this version I played on the Nintendo Switch, I enjoyed it quite a lot. Like I said, the gameplay was fun, it was fairly challenging, there are some funny references in the game as well to other various game series, and uh, it's just an overall kind of like cute uh, game and uh, kind of tricky. I enjoyed it a lot, and um, I think this is like the kind of game that would be perfect for speedrunners, because the whole point is to get through each section as quickly as possible. And as I was, as I was playing it, I was uh, getting much, much better. As I was getting more familiar with each area, I was finding it like, run here, jump to this, put this out, put that out, run down here, back down here, that kind of thing. Use this ability, that ability, etc., etc. Uh, so it was fun, a game I was continually getting better at, and uh, just enjoyed it quite a bit. Again, uh, don't, I guess, you know, indie game, don't expect too much from the visuals and sound. Uh, but what it has is pretty damn cool. Again, from the creator of Dead Cells. So if you enjoyed that game, um, you know, you probably enjoy this too. So if you haven't played it on Steam yet, if you have a Switch or you have a PS4, I can recommend picking up the digital version. It was quite a lot of fun. So thanks again to Red Art Games for providing us with a review code. I did enjoy the game. And thank you all for watching. If you've played uh, Nuclear Blaze either on the Switch or on Steam, uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. I know it got some pretty high marks, I think, from reviewers on Steam and from like Nintendo Life. It was getting like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Uh, I, would, I would maybe go in the range of like a 7, like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Uh, it's really fun, uh, could be better, but at the very least, uh, you're going to enjoy uh, probably the challenge of it. Uh, that's what I would say. So, uh, thanks again everybody for watching. Uh, definitely, if you uh, have the inkling, go and play Nuclear Blaze because it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what are you playing right now? Because personally, I'm like just jonesing to play uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, that's going to be coming out. As I'm filming this, I think it's coming out like a week from today. Uh, so I'm super excited for that. Anyway, that's a whole other, uh, you know, aside. Uh, so thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye.